if you diss Jasmine's father, is that in Soltan? Happy Thursday, my friends. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I hope you're uh, doing well tonight. Uh, we've got... It's hard to tell. I think Dead Zergling is first in chat. <laughs> I didn't look uh, I didn't look closely enough. Uh, it, it looks like that could have been slightly before I went go live, which is, uh, which is, which is normally ignored. <laughs> but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt tonight, my friends. Dead Zergling, my friend. Dead Zergling first in chat. Thank you for being here. And uh, cows are important. Close behind. Welcome in cows, Defiant Salem, and Lucent Jelly. I hope you are all doing well. <laughs> and if you diss his shoe comfort habits, Cow says, that's Sultan Insole in Sultan. Oh. <laughs> uh. What do you call Jasmine's father when he's been out in the sun too long? The soul sunburned. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I waited five whole seconds before sending that message, Brownie. Come on. <laughs> uh. Fair enough. I should have never questioned you, Zergling. Uh, it was uh I was out I was out of line <clears throat> I uh, I apologize for uh, insulting your integrity <laughs> uh, thank you uh, for the coffee jelly much too hot to enjoy yet uh Persephone welcome in thank you for the wheel it's a good way to get the night started. And Buddha Fingers, welcome in. <laughs> Did you hear about the Genie's new restaurant? Early, re early reviews say the experience was lampluster. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, I love it. Everyone's jokes are so much better than mine. <laughs> Uh, how are you tonight, Frowny? I'm doing all right, uh, Persephone. I'm doing all right. My uh, my sleep's still a bit wonky. I have to get up in the middle of my. I have to get up in the middle of my sleep so I can take the puppy out for a walk. And I'm just not able to go back to sleep after uh, afterward. I'm a I'm kind of a zombie because like I want to go back to sleep. But I just, I just can't, and so, then I'm just in this fog until finally late in the evening I take a nap, and then the nap always ends up being way too long, so my days are really messed up right now. Uh, but uh, by now, by the time I get here, it's all worn off, and, and I'm alright. Um, except again, I was kind of slow eating my dinner, so I've got most. Uh, well, I've got about half of a of a sandwich left. So you might see me chewing on that every now and then. I'm gonna kind of slowly finish that up during the stream. That's my snack for the night: half of my sandwich from dinner and uh, some nice warm coffee. Ah. Uh... My sleep is whack, too, Persephone says. Been trying to fix my schedule. Uh, so I get up at 5 or 6 a.m. That's, um... I mean, if you're in the uh, if you're in the Western Hemisphere, I don't know that, that my stream is very compatible with that. Hmm. 
You didn't name the puppy Scrappy-Doo, did you? <laughs> what? Not at all, not at all. Um, we named the uh, we named the puppy Arthur. If you, uh, for those who haven't heard, <laughs> um, and when I first said that, someone said not a pun, and I said, well, Arthur, Arthur. Might be a little bit of pun in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you suggested I name it I name it Aramur. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's uh let's spin this wheel. There's a lot of wheel spinning in this game as it is. Beware. That is what is supposedly the hottest sauce on the board. I kind of think the fiery habanero might actually be hotter. I don't know. This is the one that says, uh, do not play tricks on the weak or elderly with this sauce. This is, uh, I believe, Marie Sharp's hottest offering. Shake it up, as always very well yeah bottle for those curious to see looks something like this with a tremendous glare across uh, it sadly means less frowny time but I can be more productive in the day in the daylight Very grateful when I can have you here, Persephone. But I try to always encourage people to do what is uh, what is best for their for their health and lifestyle. And if that means I don't get to see them as often, at least it's you know, hopefully for what is better for them. <laughs> My daughter says Isaac's looking very fashionable tonight. <laughs> he's uh he's he's gotten uh he's gone into uh max comfy mode with his with his pajamas and his squishmallow Kirby beanie I'm I'm kinda jealous of. Being the uh being the big Kirby fan that I am. Ah! Oh, that's a lot of sauce. That's a lot of sauce. Oh my goodness. Oh. We've been having a lot of uh, lunch meat sandwich dinners since uh, since we got the puppy. Just for the the efficiency. Which means the only spicy stuff I'm eating every day is, is lately is, is coming off the wheel. Uh, I think that does something. I think that does something negative to my tolerance. 
Wow. I'm jealous too, Cow says. Yeah, it's rather nice. I was a thrift store find. That uh Kirby beanie. I was so, I was very excited. I picked it up. I was like, ah, oh, it's it's kind of small for me. I guess I'll have to let Isaac have it. Your tolerance is effectively shorting out your taste buds on super spicy stuff. Frowny, your tongue is more alive than usual. <laughs> Alright, let's get my big head out of the way. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel that. I, I, I imagine I'm gonna feel this burn for a while. So I'm actually going to start tonight. We're going to put in a password. We're going to start tonight. I'm going to do a couple runs through um, uh, through a whole new world, the bonus stage, and uh, get a better handle on where the rubies are on that stage. I've got a map that's supposed to uh, lead me through them. Not a map that I looked up, a map that I drew myself in my composition book. But... uh Like most maps drawn by me, it's not very good. <laughs> and the last couple times we've been here, even though I've had my map, I've been, uh... Doing a bad job. I looked in the instruction manual for this game because, you know, I'm starting to get desperate for some of these collectibles. I didn't necessarily read read it, but I did kind of skim through the instruction manual. So far as I could tell, it doesn't say anything about the red rubies in the in the manual. It doesn't it doesn't say what they're for or encourage you to collect them. It's possible I could have missed, missed it. I didn't go over it with a fine tooth comb, but the red rubies just seem to be lumped in with the green emeralds. Have you considered putting hot sauce on a pickle instead of a cracker? I don't really like pickles, uh, Persephone. Splendid. Winded. World. No one to, or where to go, go, a whole new world, new, and then immediately down, uh, you, then way up. After this little instrumental. Way up. There we go. And then... Just under the clouds. Beautiful. That was perfect. How'd I follow my map so well this time? How can someone hate pickles? I just, uh... I'm just not crazy about them. I don't like them on anything. I used to eat pickles plain. Like, I'd get a little bowl and... You know, put a serving or two of pickles in it and just kind of munch on them for a snack, but... No, not really a fan. Hey, Game and Fit, welcome in. Well, well, well. When will the album be released to the public? My, uh, my Disney songs cover album? Um... <laughs> never. <laughs> Not because I'm afraid to sing, because I'm afraid the uh, I'm afraid the mouse would annihilate me. Pickles have zero calories. They're a nice palate cleanser. 
All right. Well, that was that actually went really well. I'm going to reset and do it again, though. We're just going to do this a couple times, and then we're going to start up at the beginning. If you haven't been here, what I, what I'm doing is I'm I'm practicing for a hundred percent playthrough of this game. I've been trying to figure out how to get a hundred percent blind, and I can get all the collectibles except two of them. One I know where it is. Can't figure out how to get it. The other I have no clue even where it is, and so I'm at a complete loss. They have like two billion milligrams of sodium. I like I like some pickled things. Like I like pickled spicy peppers. Um, pickled jalapenos are sometimes really good, but uh, just like you know, like your like baseline like pickled cucumber or whatever. It's not crazy about. went too low for that one see even with my even with my map and having just done it my trouble there is that the one after you the next to last one is way up high and so my arrow that shows where the last one is even though it only goes down to indicate halfway it's such a long way that the arrow looks like it's telling me to go all the way to the bottom of the universe. I saw a video of what happened to someone who drank an entire jar of pickle juice in one sitting. Long story short, don't do that. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I also like... um. I also like um, olives. All right, and those are uh, those typically come pickled. Uh, <clears throat> doesn't acidity make hot sauce more painful? Um, I don't know, Persephone. I, some people say that, like some people suggest things like lemon juice as a is an antidote to spicy burns. So. I can't say. Uh, did you watch the direct? Well, not really. Um, I never, uh, I never watch those because spoilers. But I did scrub through it. Um, and I have it pulled up here because I didn't figure I would remember it. Um, what looked interesting to me? Uh, Mario versus Donkey Kong. Uh, never played one of those games, but. It's kind of neat that one's going to be on the Switch. Maybe I'll think about it. The Prince of Persia game, 2D platformer. That's my style. That looked interesting to me. Um, there's a new Princess Peach game. I didn't really notice. Like Again, I'm just scrubbing through. But nothing I landed on really looked much like gameplay. So we'll see about that. I like the idea. Um... Tomb Raider remastered is kind of a uh, kind of cool. I haven't played any of those, but I have a, uh, I have at least two of them. I don't think I have all three, uh, but if I play those, it'll be on original hardware. Um, new Contra game, we'll see. 
<laughs> we'll see. It's uh, It looked like it has four players. It also looks like all the players have a health bar, so it's not really classic one-hit kill Contra style, um, at least from what the HUD looked like. It's kind of cool that Luigi, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, that's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, right? They they retitled it. Like, that's that was an odd choice. I don't know why it's not bundled with Luigi's Mansion 1. Is Luigi's Mansion 1 on the Switch? Because I thought that they remastered that for the 3DS, but I don't think it's on the Switch, right? They should have just bundled the two of those together because it'd be nice to have them all. Um, I will probably I will probably break down and pick up the uh, the new Zelda Amiibos. There were a lot of games like that Bandle Tail game. No, that's not it. That Song of Nunu game. It's a lot of games that look like Stardew Valley. Just in the world. That looked like Stardew Alley to me. Um, a new WarioWare game. I've never played one of those, though, so that doesn't really mean much to me. Thousand Year Door. I, I've never played. I have that on the GameCube, so the re-release is, you know, mildly interesting, but won't do necessarily a whole lot for me. I'd like to try out F099 as well. Um I've kind of enjoyed those 99 games, but uh we'll see when I have a uh, time for it. Maybe we'll put it on tomorrow night. There might be time tomorrow night to play uh, an hour of that or so. After everyone else has had a full day to get to uh, get well practiced and uh, proficient at it. I'm going in terrible as it is. Um, so things I didn't mention, I probably just didn't think very much of. They looked like stuff that's not for me. So if there is anything else in there that, you know, to all the things I skipped over, there's a chance that it might have looked in interesting to me, and I just didn't notice it again here on the list. But probably if I didn't say anything about it, it looks like not my kind of game. A lot of, like, looked like a lot of, like, strategy type stuff. A lot of, uh, a lot of strategy type games. I think Pikmin is going to be about it, uh, for, uh, I think Pikmin is going to be about it for, uh, For strategy. <sighs> I know I'm a retro gamer because the games I'm interested in were on the PlayStation 1 30 years ago, and I'm super hyped to play them again. Metal Gear and Tomb Raider. <clears throat> does being uh, does being hyped for Metal Gear make you a gamer? I thought that made you a movie fan. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago? <clears throat> I think it's a... Uh... I think it's getting getting closer to thirty. Probably about twenty-five for a lot of those titles, right? World is world above the clouds? Yes. Hey, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoyed your time here. And down and...
victory. Well, that's three for three, so I think I'm about as good at this stage as I need to be, or about as good as I'm going to be, until it counts. <laughs> so let's start from the, uh, let's start from the, from this top. Ah, no worries, cows. It's a better movie than Mario Bros. I bet it's I I bet it's uh I bet it's better than that movie that just came out. You're probably right. Uh, I'm interested. Did you play Metal Gear Solid VR missions? I swear I spent more time playing that than the actual game. <laughs> Oh, no. All right, upside down we go. <clears throat> this actually might help me. I need a new perspective on this uh, level. Alright, so each uh, each level is divided up into four sub-stages. Uh, well, not four, necessarily. Each level is divided into a few sub-stages. Um, and it's actually only four for the first level. So, <laughs> ignore that. Each level, except the bonus one, is divided into sub-stages. But uh, every level has ten rubies. So they're not necessarily evenly distributed. And I found nine of them for level one. <laughs> so, but the thing, like, I've just got no idea. Like, the ruby, the one that I'm missing could be on any of the substages. <laughs> I said he was going to pay, and then I paid 3,000 points. <laughs> oh, but no, I haven't played the VR missions. I haven't even played through Metal Gear Solid. I've played about three hours of the Twin Snakes, and uh, it went horribly.
So, I really want to give the original Metal Gear Solid a chance someday, but it's hard not to feel like... The deck is really stacked against it, because I, n I know the series to be extremely story and cutscene heavy, which immediately I dislike. And my one experience attempting to play one of the games is was dreadful just pure misery <laughs> three hours of embarrassment and shame and incompetence <laughs> just uh just as just as bad as it gets I really want to make it to that ledge and I just can't. My dream, my dream is to reach that ledge. It's just out of reach. I've also never been crazy about stealth sections in games. Now, I haven't uh, I haven't played a game devoted entirely to stealth. Um so maybe it's different when the game is built entirely around it, but I've always disliked stealth sections in games to begin with, so the thought of like a game, oh, like if I'm playing a stealth game and I'm like, the thought of playing a game that's all this? No, thank you. I don't necessarily feel like I wanna like crawl around in a game, like, I like, the, you know, I like action and aerobatics and it's hard. I don't know. I don't know. Now I know where Zelda got the paraglider idea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I love the paraglider in this game. It's fantastic. I love that emote too, Cows. That is the... That is... For anything I might say about my disinterest in, in Metal Gear Solid, that is the quintessential sound of surprise. Uh, the collection also has Metal Gear 1 and 2 on NES. I, I have those. Uh, VR missions, which should be okay. I understand what you mean about the campaigns, though. Then the AS ones have a good bit of dialogue, too, if I remember correctly. Couldn't tell ya. Weird that they've gone for the NES ones. Aren't the MSX ones the definitive versions? Welcome in, Chompy. I, th I think that's what I've heard. Stealth is optional. <laughs> Uh, it really is different. Stealth section and otherwise openly acting game. Awful in general. Stealth in games that are supposed to be sneaky. Uh, not jarring or forcing you to play differently for a time. Welcome in, Derpleganger. And that's that's what I imagine. That makes sense. You know, if it's a game that's supposed to be stealthy, then of course... The stealth would be, uh... I would expect the stealth to be very polished and, uh... Rewarding. And I ideally unfrustrating. Ooh. 
I've got to at least, I've got to at least give the PlayStation 1 Metal Gear Solid a try someday. I mean, I own two copies of it. <laughs> and if, if I own a game, I've got to play it someday. It's just a matter of time. It can be very frustrating if stealth isn't your thing, but the game doesn't feel awful in contrast to how you've been playing the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, looks like we are having a raid come in. If I remember right, there is a... Is there a trick to this name? Hey, Attack Slug. Welcome in. There's a there's a fake Is this right? Yeah, okay. I was copied and I was copying and pasting the name, but probably what cows did works as well with the uh, with the with the at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I, that's what I thought I remembered. <laughs> I was trying to be careful, but then I wasn't. Then I just wasn't sure if uh, I don't know something was going wrong because of the copy paste. But uh, I wanted to get it right. I wanted to point. I wanted to point everyone in the right direction. I uh, hope you're enjoying Earthbound, and thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, uh, welcome in, and welcome to your friends. Careful what's careful, yeah. <sighs> it's great to have you back, uh, Attack Slug. Thank you, uh, thank you for joining us. I love this game, I love this game too. I'm a, I'm a Super NES Aladdin guy all the way. Genesis Aladdin, I can't, uh, I can't connect with it. I've played it a couple times, I tried to be nice to it. Because uh, I know I'm a I'm a Nintendo fanboy. I grew up with Nintendo, and like I know I'm 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 predispositioned to be biased in favor of the Nintendo version of everything. I really tried. I really tried to like the Genesis Aladdin, but I I just don't. <laughs> I just don't like it. And I'm not always biased, right? I like Contra Hardcore on the Genesis better than Contra 3 on the SNES. A lot better. I like Castlevania Bloodlines better than Castlevania 4. So. So there's that. But I just, I love the platforming in this game. And it's just, uh, it's just so much fun to swing and bounce and paraglide. It's, fan it's fantastic. It's such a wonderful platformer. And I think the combat focus of the Genesis one and its really wonky level designs just, uh, they just don't do it for me. The combat isn't satisfying enough to to make me not miss the platforming and the level designs just drive me up the wall. In the mid to late game especially, but it starts out pretty early being weird. I grew up playing this because Aladdin is my favorite Disney movie. Oh, right on. 
Genesis, uh, Genesis Aladdin's pretty to look at. It has a cool sword, and that's where the fun ends, Game and Fit says. Uh, Bloodlines and Four are not far off in the ratings boards. I feel like uh, I feel like those are the minority opinions, though. I think most people would pick Genesis Aladdin over SNES Aladdin, but uh, Genesis Aladdin was a lot more widespread. So like, there's a lot more people that just had it and naturally are gonna have you know nostalgia for it. I was doing a speedruns of this for a second. Oh. I'm not, I'm not there. I'm trying to, so what I'm trying to do, Attack Slug, is I'm trying to get 100% in the game. I'm trying to find all the rubies, and I'm trying to do it blind. <laughs> and I've got them all down but two, and I'm driving myself crazy trying to figure out how to get the last two rubies. <laughs> so, depending on how long you hang around, it might seem like I don't like this game at all. <laughs> <laughs> because this is a very painful project. Uh, welcome in, Lana Bean. Pleasure to have you here. This is a good one. Genesis 1's more of a challenge, but uh, this one is much better music. Yeah, the, this, game is, this game is on the easy side. There are parts of it that are parts of it that are a little tough, but um, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy. Uh, who even made the Genesis one? Was it developed in Japan? Uh, the Genesis game was Virgin Interactive. Um, I don't know where they're based out of, though. That's the, I think that's when the Switch, I think that's, I think this is it. Like, it's kind of like right here where Capcom stopped doing the Disney games and they were all done by Virgin. And so then you get, like, the Lion King which is like right up there with Genesis Aladdin for being sort of wonky and frustrating. <laughs> Fatal flaws for me at the Genesis version are the lack of the flying carpet above the city and the final boss fight. Yeah, I don't like that Jafar fight. You think so? It's funny how different the uh, SNES and Genesis games are. Yeah, I mean, they're made by two... The, it's one of those weird situations where they're the exact same title made by two completely different companies. <laughs> uh... Disney Animation Team worked on it, so it's probably made in the U.S., yeah, I think they drew they drew a lot of the assets for it before they were digitized. It makes way more sense. In this era, was uh, there any genuinely good de platformer developed in the U.S.? I don't know. I don't tend to give a lot of thought to. Uh, I don't. I don't really think about where the games come from but in this era I just kind of assume everything comes out of Japan you didn't even get to fight the snake that's the worst bit <laughs> uh, I told myself I wasn't going to play any more games tonight and here I am booting up Aladdin <laughs> If you're uh, if you're going for all the uh, if you're going for all the red gems, let me know how it goes. <laughs> let me know if you if you put me to shame. I've been working on this for a few hours, like not tonight, but across a few streams. I've been searching for the last two gems. I've got one gem that I have no idea where it is. Just can't find it at all. I've got a second gem that I know exactly where it is, and I have no idea how to reach it. <laughs> I've collected it once, but completely on accident, and I can't replicate it. And, uh, and the rest of the game, I'm fine. I'm just stuck at the beginning, trying to, fi trying to find one and collect another. And I've said that, you know, I, I still want to give it a little bit more time, trying to work this out, but... 
if I can't get them on my own tonight, I'm gonna have to break down and ask for help. So, I'm not ready to do that yet. But when I break down, if there's someone in the chat, I know I'll very expli explicitly lift the no back seating rule so someone can tell me where they are <laughs> and or how to where it is or how to get it. But I'd prefer for it to not come to that because it it, it hurts my fiercely independent nature. <laughs> I put us through like 20 hours of one stage in Donkey Kong Country because I because I couldn't find the last secret and I just couldn't bear to ask where it was. <laughs> and then when I finally did ask, the chat gave me a hint and I misunderstood the hint and went looking in the opposite direction <laughs> for another couple hours. I think the US kicked off platformers with Crash and Spyro. Oh, that reminds me. I, uh, my, I bought a copy of Spyro not all that long ago, and I had a friend resurface it for me. I just got it back. So, that might be on the table soon. They're looking, the discs are looking really good now. I haven't tested them to make sure they work, but I figured we'd do that together. I'm going to assume, I'm going to make an assumption and hopefully not get myself embarrassed. Why are you upside down? Oh, it was a channel point redemption, but it's actually expired. So uh, let's, uh, let's go regular again. Western devs were quite prominent in the early 3D platform era. I guess uh, Donkey Kong Country was... Was Donkey Kong Country Western developed? That was by Rare there in uh, the UK, right? There's a, there's a quality 2D platformer. <laughs> he said Metal Gear is probably better than the Super Mario Brothers movie. He drew first blood. <laughs> Sometimes the true bosses in the game are the hidden collectibles, Cal says. Aren't they ever? Aren't they ever? Who would have thought? Who would have thought the real final boss of Aladdin was on stage one? I'm just sort of out of ideas for where to even look. Like, I just... That's why I, that's why I think I'm going to have to break down and ask for help, because I... Because I've kind of exhausted my ideas. Uh, like it's one thing, it's one thing to continue a search forever when I when I have new ideas. But once once that well goes dry. <sighs> it gets it gets really unbearable. You know, I think the rubies are probably somewhere past where you've been. I've been through the whole game, and I found, uh... Um, uh, you're, you're alright, Attack Slug. Yeah, you're, you're alright. Yeah, I do know that they change to regular ones after you collect them. Uh, if you, if you die, yeah. Um... 
I... I've been through the whole game several times, and like I know where all of them are, except right here at the beginning. Every time I get through stage one, I only come out with nine rubies. So there's one that I just never, I've never seen. It's, it's just, it's hidden in some space I haven't thought to go to, or oh no or off screen or behind something. On stage two, I know where all of them are. I can only collect nine, but I but I know where the tenth one is. I see it every time. I just don't know how to get to it. When you uh, when you were speedrunning this game, did you speedrun any percent or hundred percent or both? Any percent? Just as fast as you can do it. But I think this is a good game for that because uh, the platform is so fluid and satisfying. I don't. I don't do a lot of speed running, but I think that this. I think this game would be really fun. Getting like 30 plus minutes, not great, but not bad. My only speed running has been like my only, a little slippery, but it's fun. Yeah. My only speed running has been in the exact opposite kind of game. The only game I've ever done the speed run for is Castlevania The Adventure. The best game to speed run. <laughs> The, the clunkiest, laggiest game that that you could ever play. <laughs> I thought that that was a... Uh... I can't find another one to speedrun because that one was just so fitting for my for my snail paced playthroughs. Uh, my PB like. I like 18 and a half, 19 minutes somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly. It's been it's been a long time since I was since I was in the game. I think I was fourth place on the leaderboard, which put me squarely in the middle because no one else runs the game. I mean, I kind of had to. I kind of had to. I kind of had to speed run it because of uh, what happened was I played it for the very first time on stream, and um, during my playthrough, which took me like five or six hours to get through the game for the first time, it was a long playthrough of a very short game. <laughs> But uh, during my playthrough, the, the world record holder for the game, Mazin, happened to show up in my chat, and uh, he was uh, he was uh, he was admiring my skills for one, and uh, you know he's very Mazin is is always very uh, very much like desperate to get more people to to speed run the game, like he wants to boost its popularity, so he's always trying to talk people into a. Uh, into uh into speed running it so of course he's being very complimentary of, of my playthrough <laughs> but then like the thing that really happened though that that made it sort of inevitable was i accidentally found i accidentally found a trick that that he thought was tass only <laughs> and 
so it would save 19 frames, so he had to incorporate it into the run, and he named it after me. And I thought, well, now I've now I've got to uh, now now I've got to now I've got to learn the speed run. <laughs> And he was very, and he was very good. He, uh, uh, he, uh, he, he coached me through it, and uh, you know, basically, uh, it told me everything to do. With horror mode. <laughs> you pick the ultimate speedrunning experience. First try. No need to bother with others. <laughs> yeah. So I, I tend to just stick. I tend to just stick to to sort of um, uh, completion and uh, performance challenges that are not really time based. You know, just sort of hundred percent deathless. Those kind of things. I'm coming out of here again with nine rubies. Clunky play Drunken Fist. I don't know that game. I felt like, uh, I felt like Oddworld was pretty clunky. I don't remember it being very laggy, but I remember it being very clunky. It's like driving while gaming. I don't know if that is an expression or another title. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I jump I jumped too early. You can still move around. I know I had to walk over here. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know where this last ruby is. <laughs> stage one. Stage one is a menace. How does that work? The apple merchant is weak to apples? Really? He's a, uh... He's a secret doctor. Yeah, it's driving me, it's driving me crazy, that one. So, so that's the stage. Stage one, I don't know where the last ruby is. This one has one that I don't know how to collect. Hey Derek, welcome in. I'm sure you I'm sure you probably know exactly which one I'm talking about. I can't I can't be the only one. Not that you couldn't collect it, but that you probably know of many others who were like me and couldn't collect it. <sighs> I 
And it's the one up it's the one up top here. I don't know how to collect the one on the top. I've gotten it one time. I've gotten it a total of one time by like, you know, swinging up to it, but I don't know how to I don't know how to swing consistently to to reach it. I didn't even grab the thing. What are you doing, Aladdin? You're killing me, man. Oh, rip. Rip my hopes and dreams. Aladdin. I want you to see me after class, young man. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's the one. That's, uh... I don't know how to get that one. Angelus, welcome in. Thank you for the raid, my friend. I'm wondering how the Jungle Book compares to Aladdin and the Lion King in difficulty. I haven't played that one yet. That's one of the rare games that I... I think I have that one on both uh, the Super NES and the E-Genesis. So we could actually do both versions. Uh, Stack Cat, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, watched Game Grumps here in Anchorage. They're on tour. Came here amazingly. Right on. Hope that was a good time. I used to watch some of their stuff every now and then, but it's been a very long time. I, uh... I was watching them for a while, right around the time where, right around the time where where Dan took over for JonTron. That's that's when I started to uh, to watch. I got it, but I don't know how I'm doing it. Oh no, that's the second time I've ever gotten that. Uh, the classic Battle Kid, Battle Kid segment. Battle Kid was in the show. A lot of fun. Right on. There's Angelus. Welcome in. Playing another bottom of the barrel first person shooter. If you want to play uh, Despair 3, play other good ones first. And then if you're really bored, check it out. Oh. So another rough game. Hopefully you had an excellent time with it though. Why is it called the Cave of Wonders? Because the magic carpet can only wonder why it has to get beaten so often to stay clean with all the dust. I jumped up there twice. Hang on. I might... Mm, that didn't work. 
I might... I might be making some progress. My, my... I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like my, my third eye might be opening. Glitches made the game fun in Mono's hand in a Mono's hands of fate kind of way. <laughs> so I know that's a I know that's a like a like a famous like terrible terrible enjoyable movie. But is there is there a Mono's hands of fate game as well? I think I see the trick, but I won't spoil it. Thank you, Zergling. Thank you for hold, holding back. We'll compare notes when I when I if I think if I if I have fig or if I think I if I start to think I have figured it out. I'm feeling doubtful. I I don't know if it's a matter of not having it or just not executing. Because I'm not I'm not getting the jump on other ones like I. Uh, Like I uh, would like to. Uh. I've been watching them since uh, Jontron was in the show, so it was nice to see them in person. Statcat says minus Jontron being Jontron. Game and Fit says he was right about Nickelodeon guts on the SNES. <laughs> That is that is probably the only video of theirs that I actually watched and enjoyed when John Tron was on the show. My my sister was was into it back when they like got started. She was uh, into them on the ground floor and tried to share it with me, but I I don't know. It just did it just it just didn't do anything for me. Um, With uh, with John and Aaron, um, I didn't get I didn't get into it, um, but I gave it another try when uh, when Dan came in, and I don't remember why. I probably again the influence of my sister, and I wasn't like, oh, John Tron's gone, so now I'm. No, I'm really excited. Maybe it'll be good because I hate that guy. But you know, that wasn't what I was thinking at the time or anything. But and I was like, yeah, these are these are pretty fun. Dan is more enjoyable, anyways. Yeah. So I uh, I liked. Uh, they played. What did they play? They played like Mario Two, I think, around that time, and. Zelda 1, I think, was around that time. I don't know if I watched all of the Zelda 1 playthrough, though. I think I only saw parts of it. John Conteri's a sour taste, I mean, StatCat says. Uh, the Guts episode was legendary. Uh, I haven't played it. There is. There is a Monos game. I haven't played it yet. It's actually fun from what I've heard. It's truly lovely. You need to watch it. Oh no, what did I miss? What is that in reference to, Cows? Is that in reference to Monos? <laughs> I need to watch that. What? 
Speaking of interesting gaming personalities, Zergling says, I visited Billy Mitchell's Twitch yesterday. Seemed like a fairly reasonable guy, and holy cow, could the man play some Donkey Kong? I've been a regular there for a while. Actually a decent guy, just... <laughs> I'm just not going to read the rest of that comment, just to be safe. <laughs> it's a stunningly, uh, it's a, it's a stunningly positive comment, though. Mono's Hands of Fate Cow says... I'll see if I can talk. I'll see if I can talk Jelly into a movie night. So, alright. I think I know how to get this uh, ruby now. It's just a matter of having to do your jump way later on the swing than I thought. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this ruby every time because I still haven't got a perfect feel for the swing. But I'm going to be able to get it sometimes, and that's all we need. That's what you thought was the trick as well. I thought I was I thought I was doing it. I thought I was, you know, like I thought I was time the the timing I thought I was doing. I mean, clearly it wasn't the right timing, but I thought the timing I was doing made sense. But no, it's way later. You can you can Aladdin holds on to that swing for a long time. I think there's a mistake in this game, also. Um, like as I mentioned before, so that's it. I need one more collectible. We are we are really close to mastering 100%. I only need one more collectible. Let's uh let's go through the rest of the game, and then I will scour stage one with a fine tooth comb. I will examine every pixel for an hour at a time. And we will find that last ruby, and Aladdin will finally be conquered. Oh, but yeah, I looked in the manual, and it says the emeralds. It doesn't explicitly say that getting 100 emeralds give you an extra life. Here, let me, let me actually pull up the manual, because I want to read this wording to you. So, in the manual, there's a page where it talks about the collectibles, the roasted chicken, which I think looks more turkey-like. It's uh, awfully big for a chicken, but whatever. Roasted chicken, emeralds, heart, and magic lamp. So, when you get a hundred emeralds, what you think would happen is you would get an extra life. But I don't think that's what happens. If I've been paying attention correctly, when you get a hundred emeralds, it adds a heart to your health meter. There's a there is a heart collectible that adds a heart to your health meter, but when I get a hundred emeralds, it adds a heart to my health meter. It doesn't give me a one up. There is a one up as well. It's the magic lamp, and it says, "Magic lamp, collect a magic lamp to grant Aladdin another chance to complete the adventure." Okay, an extra life. Emeralds. Pick up emeralds along the way, and if you collect 100, Aladdin will earn an extra chance to complete the adventure. Same wording as the 1-up. 100 emeralds should be a 1-up, but it doesn't give you a 1-up. It gives you an extra heart. That's so weird. I don't... I don't know if every copy of the game is like this, or if mine is just... broken. I assume that I assume mine would not be uniquely broken in such a strange way that 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 really doesn't strike me as a possibility. But it it's a it's a chin scratcher. Uh, 
Uh, how's the game going? I, I'm, I'm real close to 100% now, Derek. Things are going pretty good. Uh, I hope you've been doing well, Derek. And again, thank you for uh, joining us, if I didn't say before. Definitely always like having you around. Uh, believe it or not, the uh, creators of Manos uh, got the funds to make a sequel. Haven't seen it yet. Can't say if it's good or bad. In this case, good means riff-worthy and bad means boring. explains why emeralds cost so much at the jeweler you can literally become stronger just by eating them <laughs> everything except your teeth our puppy uh arthur um has a bad habit of uh while we're going on walks he's 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 stopping and picking up rocks to chew on that's not a good choice that's the, that's not a good decision to be making <laughs> so they'll watch it real closely to to discourage that I mean, I guess some kind of, some, some, there are some kinds of, like, birds that eat pebbles to help aid in their digestion. I don't think that's a dog thing, though, right? And either way, he's not, he's not swallowing them, he's chewing on them. <laughs> Rocks are not for eating, I know, I know. You know, naturally, naturally, he wants to pick up everything he finds, you know, in his mouth. <laughs> there's really nothing that he doesn't, there's really nothing that he doesn't want to chew on. But, uh, the, the rocks are the most alarming thing. <laughs> followed, uh, followed closely by, um... We have a lot of uh, we have a lot of deer that live in our area. We have a lot of deer that live in our area. They usually come out and wander through our backyard at night. You can usually see the evidence that they've been there the next morning. And uh, Arthur really likes to cover their tracks. <laughs> He really likes destroying that evidence. If you, uh, if you get my drift, so I'm. Uh, that's another thing we're very much on the lookout for to not let him eat. Other dog finds dead bugs and rolls around on them, trying to blend in with other zombies. Uh, take it easy, Zergling. We'll see you another time. Thank you for being here. If it ever starts raining deer, I'm heading underground. Uh, my friend's dog loves deer snacks too, Cal says. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. I know that. That's that. That's not a not a good thing for him to be eating. So, you know, we're trying to be real careful now. Cows are for eating. Zerkling says, "I'm gonna puke. You owe me a new tablet." Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know game and fit. What did what did I what did I even say? <laughs> I can't I can't help what disgusting thing you may have inferred <laughs> from my very careful language. I'm calling the imagination police. <laughs> You're finished. Uh, they'll never take me alive. No! Don't die, Aladdin! <laughs> Aladdin didn't listen to me. Majority report? The Imagination Police. <laughs> I feel like that fireball is, like, the best way to get that collectible. Like you can, you can bounce off the thing. You can bounce off the thing to get it, but... I feel more confident and comfortable just, uh... Letting the fireball hit me. <laughs> Alright, that should be all ten for this level. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I figured out the stage two ruby. It took so long. I I don't I don't. Why am I? Why am I so colossally dumb? <laughs> why do such Why do such simple things always take me so very long? I'm very happy that I was able to figure that out, though. Even if it, even if it took a long time, it's very satisfying to get it on my own. I just have one left. One left. That I might have to ask for. I feel like all the rubies are pretty easy to get on this stage, but there's one or two that are hidden in the clouds that up near the top that you can overlook, but uh No I think that's the only two. Oh, there's a third one on here.
great. The genie is distractingly handsome. <laughs> This level could be really tough, especially the last part. I don't know, do you mean that specific sub-level that we just completed, or do you mean this, uh, or do you mean this stage, like, as a, as a whole? It's got a lot of, uh, you know, it's over, uh, it's over, like open pit a lot of the time, so. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of opportunities to fall to your death in this one. Which is, you know, always super perilous. Watch out for the tornado. The part where you uses oh yeah yeah the that that yeah that part is is rough sometimes, yeah. I don't know if he puts the stuff down in the same order every time or if it's randomized, but there have been times where I've been I felt like some of the combinate one of the combinations in there is just. It's a little, it's a little brutal to get a high enough jump off of one of them to land on the next one. I have all these credits and credits are useless to me because they will, uh, if you use a credit, it erases your rubies, and that's that's the worst. Th that's what what I most certainly do not want to happen. I don't mind losing a life. Three on this stage. I think, um, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, I think if you're on your last life is when he, I think when you're on your last life is when he nerfs the challenge of that. That's what it seemed to me, it seemed like to me last time. Because I thought, I thought it was when you died, but I got the, but I'm pretty sure I got the hard one twice in a row, and it wasn't until I had zero lives in the tank that he, uh, made it easy for me. But then it, if you die and you use it continue, then it's back to hard mode, for sure.
Alright, there are five rubies on this stage. This is like... The most intense one, I think. No, nothing over there. That's surprising. No, I'm going to miss the beetle. Sadness. Three. Sailed right past number five. Five. Ooh, that was close. How did Wario Land go? Wario Land went okay. I am, I'm a little annoyed, I'm a little annoyed at Wario Land. Uh, we beat it, I got the, uh, I got the first ending, but I still have to 100% it, and probably get a true ending, and I don't even have anywhere near half the collectibles, so, like, while I beat it, that doesn't really mean anything, there's still over half the game left. But, I'm getting really annoyed with the way that the progression in that game works how you have to open a random treasure chest on a different random level to make progress happen in earlier stages is really starting to wear on my uh, my patience. The, uh, the arbitrary nature of the game is... is starting to get to me now. I really, uh... I very much would have, uh, preferred something more in line with uh, Wario Land 2. I don't hate the game or anything. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't read my, uh, my negativity too harshly. It's still a very good game, and it's better than, you know, a lot of other things you could do with your time. It's just annoying me. Um, some of the design choices are, uh, Proving a lot more frustrating in the end game. Since the bread was covered in sand, I guess you could call it a sandwich. If only, if only I'd had the foresight to just to just casually comment on the sandwich I picked up. Oh yeah, the last ruby, you never even get to see. It's here. Behind the thing. That's so rude. Hey Waz, welcome in. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hope you've been doing very well. We're making progress in Aladdin. I learned how to get the collectible I didn't know how to get before. So I'm one away. There's still one. I don't know where to find it. But I'm I'm one away from the hundred percent playthrough. 
My my spirits are soaring. Yeah, I, I, I talked about that earlier, Derek. I scrubbed through the Nintendo Direct. Let me see. The things that look most interesting to me... Um... I don't, there wasn't anything show-stopping for me. I thought the Prince of Persia thing might be cool, since I love 2D platformers. Um, I've never played a Mario vs. Bowser game, but I was like, that's nice. They're going to put one on the Switch. Maybe I'll maybe I'll check it out. be an opportunity to see what that series is about. Might be alright. The Princess Peach thing I'm curious about, but, you know... Again, I don't watch the directs. They're too spoilery. I just... I just scrub through and just land in places and try to look for release dates. Um, the P Princess Peach thing, nothing I landed on looked like gameplay, so I'm not really sure what to think about it, but cautiously optimistic. Um, I don't remember if anything else stood out to me, really. <laughs> Uh, you know, a Thousand Year Door, uh, cool, it's getting a re-release, I, I need to play the original Tomb Raider, it's cool that they're getting a re-release, I need to play the originals, like, that's how I felt about a lot of the stuff. Good to hear, thank you, Waz. Thousand Year Door, is you super excited? I want to play that game, I am, uh, I love pay the original Paper Mario. The only thing show stopping for you at this point is a horse care simulator. <laughs> there will there will be more horse games. I've got I've got one more in that series, the Let's Ride games. We haven't played it yet because I only wanted to do the Game Boy Advance games at the time. But I actually, I have Let's Ride something on the PlayStation 2, so. Perfect. It's my favorite out of all the Paper Marios. I, I feel like I feel like I've heard that from a few people that yeah, Thousand Year Door is is better than the original, and then they really haven't been as good since. Been wanting to play it, so it'd be nice game if it says. Being able to switch between the original and new OST and Super Mario RPG is nice. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that detail. <laughs> That's fine. That doesn't ruin anything for me. But yeah, because of the way I just, you know, the way I watch them. I don't pick up any of the details about them. I just learn what's releasing. You know, if I if I land on something that looks in, that kind of looks interesting and I have no idea what it is, I will stop and watch for a little while. I'm not completely completely determined to make it a slideshow, but We've got five on this stage, really? All right, well, there's one. Two. I forgot that one was up there. Get those guys out of my life. Three. 
All right, and the next is the guy who has one on. Nope, it's not. Huh. Uh, yuck. Uh, what? Too many swords. Put too many swords in my life. Four. And we are out of here. Thank goodness that thing didn't crunch me. Just got my first Switch this week, so I'm still in that. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that face? All right, awesome. I remember you, you said that you bought a Switch. I didn't know I didn't know from the way you'd worded it if it was your first switch or if you replaced one. So uh so right on. I'm I'm uh boy, I'm happy for you. I hope you uh hope you have a lot of fun with it. The switch has been really wonderful for me. One, there are three here. The next two, I know where they are. They're both around one of these swordsmen. <laughs> Excuse you, sir. What are you doing? Why aren't you helping me out? Let's go. Super Mario RPG looks nice, but it's also lost something in translation, Chompy says. I don't know. I'm, uh, so see, like, things things like that is, like, I'm more, ex a lot of these re-releases, I'm just in, like, my posi my situation is I'm more excited to play the original. Because a lot of the things that are coming out, I already have the originals of these, and I just haven't played them yet. So the, you know, the remakes are pretty hard for me to get excited about. And also, I'm always kind of the anti-hype guy, so. <laughs> if you're ever really excited for something that's, like, announced or rumored or, or maybe coming out, be a little bit cautious when you, uh, when, when you, when you, when you bring it to me. <laughs> I don't like squashing people's excitement, but I I very rarely rise to the heights of hype, and so I feel like I just, I'm, I'm a... I'm a real rain cloud, is what I am. Uh, looking forward to see what happens when you get all the red gems. I'm quite curious uh, if I want to try it myself. So I don't know, Angelus. I don't. I, I don't know if any. I don't know if anything happens when you get all the red gems. But I double checked my vod. I for, I forgot about that because I thought I noticed there's a threshold of some sort where if you get a certain number of red gems, you get a you get a different ending. You get you get like the, a true ending, 
Um, but it happens before you get all of them because I got it without getting all of them. But I, I, I think it's a, a certain number of gems is what, what does it. Unless I, unless it's like a one credit clear thing or something like that. I didn't really pay it, like, <laughs> I don't have a firm grasp on the, on the, on the cause. But I did get a different ending recently than I, than I'd ever remembered seeing before. Um, and I, I checked my first playthrough of this from a couple years ago. And the recent one where I where I got a different ending, the endings didn't match. So, and I assume it's because the more gems, because I was trying to get them this time. But there is there is a true ending situation. <laughs> it, uh, it, I bet it's some sparkles on the words at the end. Well, the different ending it has a slideshow of like Aladdin going through the game that they don't normally play. But uh, if you perform well, assuming, you know, my assumption in, is X number of gems, then you get a you get an extra little slideshow during the ending. really behind so I'm just trying to quickly sort of read the uh, chat here dream crusher agent frowny for a reason if there's one game that would do that for you what game would that be if there's something that would get me like super hyped I don't know I don't know uh, Arthur for Smash Brothers. All the things I would look forward to are things that wouldn't happen. You've proved the justice of our culture. Slideshow is better than nothing. Now go outside. Hey, thank you for the wheel, Derek. We'll get that a spin in just a moment. Let's welcome in, um... Let's welcome in our friend Mile High Roll. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Aladdin. I'm actually making progress tonight. I still have a ways to go, but I, I learned how to do a new thing. So I'm feeling happy already. Arthur isn't in Smash Brothers? Not that I've heard of. I'd love to have him there. I think he's an assist trophy. Thank you for the GG. We're not we're not quite to a true GG legit true GG yet, but we're getting there. Hope uh, Starfield treated you well tonight, my friend. I never got to see the Ghostbusters ending for myself because I could never get past the Zool final boss, Angela says. Oh, Ghostbusters. I really want to beat. I really want to beat C64 Ghostbusters. But I don't know the trick to getting past the Marshmallow Man. Until I can, uh, until I can figure that out. I'm kind of stuck in that game. <laughs> when are you playing the NES Ghostbusters and subjecting yourself to that mess? Have we played? I think I played NES Ghostbusters one night. Um, I don't remember how well I did, which is to say probably not very. I think I made it to the staircase, but yeah. The thing is, I'd have to learn how to get up that staircase. NES Ghostbusters has been pretty widely spoiled for me. I'd have to figure out figure out how to get up that staircase without without cheating and I mean I don't know. I don't know that any humans ever done that one. Aladdin streaming fist, welcome in. 
uh, SNES Aladdin. I'm uh, I'm working on the hundred percent run, trying to uh, trying to beat it blind. Can we call him Al? Well, the genie does. So I think if you give him three wishes, then uh, then you're allowed to. Ghostbusters NES pretty wild, but uh, but too hard as a as a dumb kid. I actually so NES Ghostbusters I would re I will I will definitely revisit. I don't think I'll ever beat it because of that staircase. Um, I don't I don't know. Like I think you can get health refills from some of those doors, and some of them hurt you from what I understand. But I mean it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like I I'd revisit it for fun every now and then, but I don't have any real hope of beating it. I'm more hopeful about Ghostbusters on the Genesis. I feel like I made it to the last level of that game, but didn't finish it. That game is almost good. It's pretty good, but it's kind of janky and broken too, so Let's spin this wheel. I don't want to I don't want to forget. It landed on the same thing. It's the Beware Hot Sauce again. This is, uh, once again, this is Marie Sharp's, uh, I think Marie Sharp's hottest hot sauce. It proclaims itself to be comatose heat level. And it says, do not play tricks on the weak or elderly with this sauce. That is what we landed on, yeah. Boo! I want the candy. You want me to land on the worst thing? Staircase percent, get to the staircase and you beat the game? Well, I think I already did that. Oh, Tusk, welcome in. I don't know if I said welcome to you, but definitely happy to have you here. You could beat it, it's just irritating. Would it take me longer than Echo? Or probably better question, would it take me longer than Battletoads? It's always hot sauce every time every time I've spun the wheel while you're here. I mean there are four there are four spaces dedicated to hot sauce on the uh, on the wheel, so it, it has a you know like a forty percent probability. This is the bottle for those who haven't seen it. And once again, I'm making a mess. This is a very runny sauce. not as it's not as bad as the first round huh. it definitely burns but it was it was worse the first time huh. I am crying a little bit <laughs> Echo is a uh, Echo is abysmal, but I'm I'm free from that curse for a year. Every time I beat an Echo game, I don't have to play another one for a whole year. Probably we'll play the next Echo game in jank in January of 2025. That would be my prediction. I don't know if it would be another port or if I'll finally get around to uh, Tides of Time or something, but that's when I'd look for the next Echo game. Huh. <sighs>
Hot sauces are always like, this sauce will kidnap and kill your family. It's always a challenge. Yeah, Battletoads. I played through Battletoads uh, earlier this year. It took me three... It took me three months of uh, pretty regular attempts. Um, toward the end, the last couple of weeks, I was playing it every night. For the, for the last few weeks. But it took me about three months, and... Uh, I think my total time spent playing it before I beat it for the first time was around 95 hours. That average, you know, that's an average of like an hour a day for those three months. It's rough. But I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. It was, uh, it was an incredible journey. I haven't played it in a long time. I'm pretty rusty. I might not be able to do Klinger Winger anymore. That was the big holdup for me. Like, I got stuck. I hit roadblocks on a couple different levels for a while, but the Klinger Winger was the devastating one. Once I made it up to that level, I could make it there, but couldn't get past it for like two months. It was crazy. It was crazy. I've never been stuck so long at one part. Even this gym in Aladdin that I couldn't get didn't take me didn't take me three months, two months, a month, however long it was. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> it was a long time. I have an uncle in New Orleans. Uh, I remember an outdoor market had hot sauce to dip in popcorn. He dared me to try it. I legit passed out. I was also like nine. My goodness, that sounds like that sounds like it could have been dangerous. My poor friend bought a 1 million Scoville unit hot sauce. I subbed to her channel for her to eat it. She didn't tell me it was that hot. She stopped the stream for a bit. That's what I'm always worried about. Or what I, what I was worried about. <clears throat> uh, Aladdin's first wish was to be a prince and he didn't actually get that. He just dressed up in nice clothes, so maybe I can get away with giving uh, him pretend wishes and call him Al. I mean, he didn't really get his second wish either, right? Because the genie, the genie used one of his wishes for him. To save him from drowning. Right, there are two rubies here. hours I can see that it was worth it I love Battletoads now I mean I liked it during the playthrough I was having fun with it except for you know where I when I was at the places I was stuck at I wasn't having fun but it's a really it's a really satisfying game There's the, there's the, there is the, like the temptation to be like completely out of my mind and try to practice for a deathless run of Battletoads. Because I can do a one credit clear, but in anything I can do a one, a one CC, like deathless then becomes pretty tempting, but I don't know. There's there's one boss that I can't I don't know how to defeat without losing a life. So <sighs> kinda think that has a good chance of just remaining always a dream. Yeah, Deathless Battletoads. That would I mean it would be something. I'd feel really proud of myself, but it would be a hard grind.
Uh, during the speedrunner bike level would be amazing in itself. I've cleared uh, the turbo tunnel. I've cleared that without a death several times. Um, there are... There are 12, uh, with a little asterisk by that, there are 12 stages in the game. My my PB, uh, so far as Deathless, I, I think I made it up to stage 7 on my best run. I've made it that far. And I've cleared... I've cleared every level in isolation without a death, except for stage 8. And the final boss. I think I've I think I've done everything else at least once on its own without dying. So if I and the final boss, I think I could do deathless. Yeah, theoretically, it would just I just need more practice and luck. The stage eight boss is like the one major thing that I've never done it deathless and don't even see the way forward really because I've never been close I kind of know I kind of know what a deathless fight would look like against that boss like I can I can understand what I should do but I've never come close to pulling it off so like that that does remain it does remain like a thing in the back of my mind but It would it would be the it would be one of the longest grinds we've ever gone for on the stream. I do feel guilt kind of putting people through those sort of situations sometimes. <laughs> says says the guy who made everyone watch his grind for a deathless run of haunted castle. <laughs> Where was my guilt then, huh? Uh I have scorpion pepper sauce at 780k Scoville. Seems right at the tip to where it still tastes good, but has too much spiciness. I liked Battletoads as a kid, Waz says. Realized very early I'd never beat it. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. Certainly, right? I don't, uh, you know, I don't think that I'm especially, like, skilled or clever. Just, uh, you just have to have the patience of a stone. Uh, sounds doable if you've got the game down that much. Well, the thing is, like, doing them, doing each of those levels in isolation is one thing, but you do need a, quite a bit of luck to get them all at the same time. Like, there are, there are parts where there's, there's, that are kind of RNG heavy and you can die in one hit. There's a lot of one hit kills in Battletoads. So I'm not as close. I'm not as close as I might as it might sound like I am. <laughs> Maybe you could do it now, certainly not back then. Oh yeah. I wouldn't have even wanted to play the game as a kid. I didn't like you know, I didn't like hard games when I was a kid. Like uh, Mario Brothers was about the difficulty level that I you know, the Mario games. If, it, if something that got much harder than those, I usually wasn't up to play a whole lot of. And the Mario games get kind of tricky in a few places, but, you know, they're not known for their brutality overall. <clears throat> and certainly there are games where the easiest thing in some games is harder than the hardest thing in, in a Mario game, but... Like, games that I love now, like Contra and Castlevania, I would have hated those as a kid, I think. I didn't even really like Mega Man, because it was too tough when I was a kid. I've always liked, uh, I've always liked Super Ghouls and Ghosts, though. Like, that's one of my childhood games, and I've always liked that one. I can't explain that. As much as I didn't like difficult games, for some reason I still liked, like, one of the hardest ones.
Minus one, the lost levels. Oh, yeah. The lost levels can stay lost as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Mario Bros. USA is the true Mario 2. I will not be persuaded otherwise. my group of friends it was just what looks cool to rent we didn't know if a game was hard or not oh yeah i never knew going in but like if i you know when i rented a game like if it was if it was hard or i couldn't understand it then you know it was a pretty bad weekend <laughs> whoa i don't know if you're copying aladdin or if my uh my spicy mario brothers opinion has a uh, caused a reaction i don't really think that's that spicy of an opinion I think most people are, are in my uh, camp. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I just, uh, it's actually a pretty mild opinion. I just felt like I stated it somewhat assertively. <laughs> Has anyone here ever beaten Daikatana Di Di Tuskass? I've never played it. Tried it, got to the sewers, gave up, Angela says. Never played it, Waz says. Your hot takes are unacceptable. And I have taken grave personal offense to them. I am a rather I am a rather incendiary figure, aren't I? Lost Levels isn't that bad. It's not that bad for a fake Mario game that's just a ROM hack. Lost Levels is real fun, Chompy says. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's on the N64. Yeah, I, uh, I thought, I thought so. But yeah, I've never, I've never tried it. Hey, Master Tuesday. Welcome in, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Everyone thinks Aladdin's third wish was to free the genie, but really his third wish was to make genie sound like Homer Simpson. <laughs> I've said that before. The only Aladdin movie I own... So this, this is the extra ending when you get the gems. X number of X number of gems, or maybe when you one CC, but I think it's the gems. You get this little slideshow. So we should have we should have sixty nine gems. I think there are seventy in the game, and I only missed one. So we're close. Oh, but Return of Jafar. We had that on VHS when I was young. Didn't have Aladdin 1 or 3. Just had Return of Jafar, so... I kind of hear... I kind of hear... Um... Homer Simpson Genie more than I hear Robin Williams Genie in my imagination. Uh, Mario platforming is fun, and it's crazy challenge. Uh, I think I've played more, played it more than Super Mario Brothers 2 US.
Hey, I'm not a fan of the lost levels. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily hate it as much as it sounds like I do, but I'm never eager to play it. I find Super Mario Bros. 2 US to be quite frustrating, to be honest. It's kind of hard, and the limited continues are, uh... You're a great player, it says. I don't know if that's true. We'll let this last ruby determine, you know, how great I truly am. I proved the justice of our culture. It's tough. I really, I really like Mario Brothers too, though. Right up there at the Ghostbusters ending. Pretty sure I've still got Aladdin 1 on VHS and Atlantis. Maybe I'm biased. Didn't care for SMB2 a whole lot. Still don't, Game and Fit says. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Oh, another ending screen where we're uh, where we're stuck. All right, well let's give it a reset. We're gonna look at stage one. I've got one ruby to find. I'm one, I'm, I'm 70 minus one collectibles away from being done with this. Um, I mean, I still have to do the run where I get them all and don't die. That's the, uh, you know, that's the thing is right now I'm just learning the hundred percent and then I've got to do a deathless hundred percent run to be done with this project. But I feel like this is the, gotta be the hardest part. I don't feel like the practice and grinding is going to be that bad for this game. Famous last words, probably, right? I just don't know where the last ruby could even be, though. I feel like I've been all over the map. I've been all over the world. Except this one ledge up here that there seems to be no way to reach. Agent Frowny always wins. Oh my goodness, we've done it. The run is unlocked. Life is good. I can't believe it. That's what we've been waiting for, my friends. It's done. It's done. The run is virtually done now. That's uh, that's all we needed. Thank you for the trophies. Thank you for the GGs. I'm so excited. Let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, I just have to run through all the levels without dying. Your threats of searching every pixel for an hour each wasn't even necessary. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Angelus, thank you, Cows, thank you, Waz. That didn't take a long time. Thank you, Stack Cat. 
chompy game and fit. Wow, that's great. Starting to sound like a speedrunner. <laughs> One ruby to rule them all. Uh, Atlantis The Lost Empire is one of those movies that people rarely remember but always agree it was way better than anyone gives it credit for. I saw that movie in the theater. I felt like I enjoyed it. I think I saw that... I think I saw that the same weekend I saw... A Knight's Tale? I thought it was weird because they both... In both those movies, I think the character... If I remember right, both those movies, the main characters have the same name. Let me see if I'm right about that. I'm not right about that. I'm close, though. In Atlantis, the character's named Thatch, and in A Knight's Tale, his name is Thatcher. It's pretty close. It's close enough, you're right. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, all right. So yeah. Um, what we'll do? Why don't we make a? We'll make an. A, we'll make an attempt or two at this. Let me get my timer on screen. There might actually be time for Jump King tonight. Who would have thought? I think we're gonna play Jump King. We're going to do this first. We're going to work on this for a little while. I'm going to take a short uh, BRB, though. Um, hopefully I don't forget where all the rubies were while I'm gone. <laughs> uh, we're not really going to be going for speed, but during the deathless attempts, I, I always have the uh, I always have the uh, the timer running for, for focus. And so that's what we'll do. But uh, I'm going to step away, get some coffee, probably visit the restroom, stretch my legs, come back uh, refreshed and focused and uh, ready to make a few attempts at this. And then uh, and then we'll move on to Jump King after, uh, after you know, probably another, we'll give this an uh, hour and a half, something like that. Chrome is annoying. Didn't tell it to close all the tabs, but it did anyway. Jump King never hurt us. <laughs> I've been playing Jump King for 11 hours, and I am currently on the starting platform. Every time I've played Jump King, I made it real far. Last time I made it real far, I saw new stuff I'd never seen before. It went really well. But every time I play, I always end up back at the start. <laughs> it is a little artificial because where where i usually fall to is somewhere close to the start and then i'm like well i'm done for the night might as well just throw myself the rest of the way down and that that's what we end up doing because my thought is that i'm gonna take some time off before i play it again so i can use those early jumps to like de-rust but yeah we're on the starting platform <laughs> But uh, let me take that BRB. I'll be gone for just, uh, you know, like five-ish minutes. 
Maybe a, maybe a little longer. I'm going to try to be back as quickly as I can. Uh, but uh, thank you. Thank you for being on the journey. We found them all. I didn't have to break down. I didn't have to be told where they were. I got all the rubies. I did it on my own. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Very excited. And now we get to uh, enjoy the fruits of all this labor with some, uh, with some complete runs through the game. Um, thank you for standing by me and putting up with all my nonsense, my friends. <laughs> your patience, your patience is much greater than mine. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes if you want to join me for the uh, the victory laps. <laughs>